I think for both of these teams, it is very important for your final match just to get that confidence before going into major. Confidence essential. Sib, a player with bounds of it. That nice opening kill there on the gizmo. Now to the flank, trying to open things up with the Ravens and the hard point right off the rip here. So again, looking for that map control, looking for those kills. As far as opening breaks go, those first two hills, you're used to when you start on the, I don't know, if you spawn on the left side of the map, normally you win P1, but lose the rotation of P2, and then the game kind of gets evened up after the fact, but London right now, they're on point. Massive battle for the rotation, by the way. Gizmo's taking it down, and look at those spawns ever from London on that roof, getting ready to swarm the back of this hill. I mean, it's just a cakewalk. They just find the one lane, the one opening, and win the one gunfight that they need just to break through with ease. Uh, I mean, this has been a, a schmangling of a map one so far, and honestly, there was even a few moments where London started to, in my mind, almost throw things away, losing the spawns, having a bad rotation, but then they just completely turn up and find all the kills, and it's hard to, or easy to understand why I should say is Afro. 29 kills to his day. I mean, the man has been frying from the first hill. Fights accuracy now, last play out for his team in point. Here comes the flank, Ravens. This is why they're so good at breaking hills. That's P5, that's all theirs. Two members of Surge left on the front side and Nasty's got a thing or two to say about it. Here comes the play, Nate's through though. Beautiful coordination now from the Surge. Over to zero, finds one. Shots in on the second, not able to get any more out of this one. Afro now from downstairs and it's a clean sweep. Seattle Surge, they break back on in. London, they can still win on this hill. The time is going their way, so Mac, you gotta contest for at least a second. And on top of that, you gotta rotate. That contest is enough. Now the rotation battle accuracy is the first one on the hill. Two players in front, he wins the first, but he gets traded out. And London, the clean sweep, the kills in the feed. Take care of business, job done. This, I think, has an absolute battle written all over it. No one needs to watch the cross if it's four stacked towards A. Only two players here for Seattle. Mac, good luck with the gunfights. He at least gets that first blood. Can Sib save the day? Gets first. Nasty now has to play a tight setup or maybe go for the chow and gets dropped instantly. And I think Sid might be able to make a play as well right on the backside. He's at least giving this information to his team about who may or may not be flanking. But Sid does get dropped in the process. Now he got zero flanking the actual players on oh. site and he's between them all. But that just leaves Mac in a one versus three. And they haven't quite sniffed him out yet, but they got plenty of time to do so. And Mac's going to try to play sneaky. Hello. Managed to find one. The jig is up now. Mac now in the 2v1 situation. They're going to swarm him. 25 on the clock. Oh, boy. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Max made it a 1v1. Oh, my goodness. 20 seconds. A little bit of damage into Nasty, but not enough to get it. And okie dokie. Now Seattle back in the attack. Zero tagged up. 6 HP. Gets hunted down. First blood and a free bomb plant. Could you ask for anything more? You could not. The surge is spread out now. Here comes the counter push. His moat. First in, finds that kill. Trade taps out with Nasty. Now he's in. Afro's on the site, trying to find something here, and it is getting now loud and noisy. Less than 30 seconds on the clock. Accuracy in the fullback position. Red V Afro. That wins it again. 20 seconds now remaining. It's all on to Nasty. Cleaned up indeed. Now from the Ravens. Zero backing up the team, going over towards B. Once again, Sib in position to slow down these hits. Not just slow them down, but bring them down. 4v2 now. It's two in the round for Sib. Less than a minute for the Ravens to get this bomb down. You know you have bomb down, and Sib's going to be able to find the information. Gizmo eventually gets taken down by three okay. different players, and accuracy maybe gives up a freebie, but you still do not have that bomb. Zero now for the 1v2. 25 seconds to work with. Technical 1v4, if he can, he can get it, but it's not going to be easy. But my, okay, he's got the snapper. Okay, zero, 1v1. Surge, get it. We'll see how it plays out. Seattle, obviously, trying to carry some momentum from that Berlin into this series. And we got a B hit off the rip on offense. Things you love to see. Dealt with. Still, though, you are pouring the pressure on to this B point. They oh want to take care of this off the rip. And honestly, why not? Like, what's the point of just capping A off the rip if you're just going to waste lives uh, and burn things? If you could get that pressure and try to get this point first, I like the idea, but now back, or Mac, excuse me, by is lonesome. And yeah, I was going to say the nades there to take him down. So, and I think right now, what, number eight on the minimap, Afro might be the cutoff man. He might have two kills oh, in front did. of him. And he well, did. while Afro is getting those, you're getting players out of the hill as well. So that is the swarm on defense for London. The one really oh. right to get map control that they needed. And Afro was the guy that delivered. 
And now for Seattle, you are in such a tough spot. You are firmly in the blender. But apparently they don't. Seattle might have lost track, so that's at least free kill number one for him is London still storming over Whoa. route. Hey, Nasty wins the second with the movement. Now he's one kill off a of glide bomb. They're putting in the work on offense. This is not a bad setup for the moment for the Ravens. Here comes the swarm though from Surge. They're starting to find the kills. It's all on Afro now on the point. Done. Clock starts to tick once again. Nasty trying to find the shots from up high, and he's going to be wiped out as well. So 20 seconds still to play with. Not a lot of lives either side. Six for Surge, eight for Ravens. One last decent push at this. You got 15 seconds. Let's see what they got. And I, I mean, they have nothing, right? Uh, you know, you don't even want to just throw your lives. You have a two life lead. You had a life advantage in round number one. I mean, I just have to imagine you have uh, a decent enough start on a, a round of offense for control. Just play off the lives unless you've been gifted an opening. Accuracy doing just that. First to his name now in this match or in this round, brother. Straight towards A we go. Quick contest. Ravens still trying to keep these members of Surge off it, and loud it Gizmo finds two. And that is the do he needs, and that is London getting the map control on defense. And again, I've said it before, as soon as you get that little bit of control, it is incredibly difficult to break out of. And you see the trades coming through on Mac. You see Zero in a power position, just taking them apart one by one. There is a minute left in this round to deal with Pred on the flank. And you don't really need to overcommit towards B. Maybe you give it a try since you got some lives to play with. But again, not easy to get rid of these players watching the crosses at all. Yeah, Prez still just holding up. And look at the Ravens on the minimap. Left-hand side, they're all just flocked up. No one's letting anything get through. Final few seconds, tick down, and there we go. We're following the script. Control Seattle. Welcome back to the blender. But this time, I mean, you have to find a way to get out of this. Oh, there's one way to get out of it, and it is just skill. Blistering skill, incredible teamwork, and it doesn't matter when Afro's on the flank like this. 23 and 17 overall. Here comes the old Shiv, right to the oh, gut of Surge. Uh, yeah, look at them, Co. They've gotten covered. Afro, oh dear God, he might be blessed with a few here if he can time this right. There's number one. Spawn still going to be close. Accuracy peaks. Still does manage to stay alive. But look how close they're still spawning. The Ravens have got guns up all over them. You are truly surrounded now, Seattle. There's not a whole lot they can do. They are getting bled out. They are getting bullied. They are getting absolutely pounded into dust. 20 to 9 the life count. Seattle Surge now is just talking about hard point. Playing a Gavutu up this, after this one. And it was not an easy look here on control. And it's just the way it is. It's so hard to win especially when you're down in lives, especially when the defensive teams are so solid there. Ravens get the win. They're going to take the lead in the series now for a brief moment. We've seen Ravens in maps like that before where it's just a, a very strange play style that Ravens make work. I mean, we only have to look as far back as the Tuscan to start the series off. Here we go, though, right over towards P1. That very large anti-aircraft gun will be ringing out no more as everyone's going to be fighting over the time. It's found inside it. Afro Gizmo find their opening kills. Here comes Pred. Here comes Pred. Uh, absolutely. And now we're on ring. It is the yeah. dicey battles and Afro just picks up three. The man oh. starts out five, making six and oh. You are 40 seconds into this Woo. game and Afro already has a glide bomb. Maybe he is the thorn in Seattle's side. And funnel enough, literally right from the opening break, he's actually the man that caught Sib uh, and basically set up the pinch for his teammates. So Afro simply doing it all at this point. Mac trying to hit the deep flank on the right-hand side of the beach. Here come the nades, the stuns, you name it. It's all being thrown at this point. Pred still alive on the flank. Still kicking. Finds himself one more. Here comes the potential entry. Straight on the point. Can you get the break here? And Pred gets it done. Four before being brought down. Go, go, go. Surge gun on the point. Start to get some time. Guns up in time. No, it's not enough. Nasty with two. Unbelievable break. Back on the top of the last one. It is breaks on breaks in this game. I mean, look, if Brett doesn't pick up that big three, I mean, we might be looking at a game where there's a potential 100-point club, and even those kills towards the end, three or four, three sixties, is literally running in circles, and meanwhile, eventually, Raven's able to break through important AR gunfights that Gizmo, with 26 kills, able to deliver. And I'm not the best lip reader, but I can pretty tell I can see how confident Gizmo is at this <laughs> point in the series. And again, I mean, 222 to 86 at this point, it would be the most incredible comeback we have had so far this year if Seattle finds some way to get back in it. The entry to the hard point is three man stacked through the rear. Here they come in and Nasty finds a shot into the first. Nasty gets one. Quick reposition. Nades are out. You name it. He's trying to get it done. Gizmo's got his back. And that is it. I cannot believe it, but the Ravens get it done 3-1.